Capricorn, what's good? This is Soul. And Capricorn, this is your week ahead. Uh, beginning messages, energies, beginning November 18th and ending um, November 24th, 2019. The messages will be for a Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Capricorn Rising signs as well. All right, my fellow Capricorns, I hope all is well. New week, new energies. I'm using the same deck I used last week, the Afro Tarot uh, creator, Jesse Jaman. Jesse Jumanji, and, and um, this week I'm going to be uh, complimenting your reading with an affirmation card, okay? So, let's get underway um, with your energies to see what's in store, what's coming up for my fellow Capricorns. All right, time is really flying, isn't it? All right, so energies for Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs, November 18th, uh, ending November 24th, 2019. There are no reversals here, uh, Capricorn, so don't worry about it. Um, so let's see, energies for Capricorn. Shadow card energy, uh, Capricorn. Energy that may uh, play out along with the rest of the cards that will be selected for you. Uh, your shadow card energy is, well, a need to celebrate. Okay, three of cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female. Cups represent relationships and children for me. So there's someone's birthday that you're celebrating with. Someone's anniversary. Um, it could be some other type of... Um, you know, event going on here. It could be you getting together with your uh, co-workers and then, you know, you're going out to celebrate. could be just meeting some friends uh, for happy hour, whatever. Okay, but it's a need to celebrate. And I like this energy to start us off. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female, once again. Your overall energy that you uh, have to focus on or energy that you may be dealing with Capricorn relates to the Seven of Wands. Okay, so it's not always about friction, and feeling like you're being, you know, attacked on a personal level it could be just, you know, a little bit of irritation going on with you internally. Now, of course, you know, you know, Capricorn, if these energies do apply to you, then you, it still <laughs> stands. But I don't always get that. This is my stand your ground. Do not fold. Do not bend. Any major decisions or any decisions, not they don't necessarily have to be major decisions this upcoming week. Don't the wands represent the energies of having to not willing to or succumbing to your own um, decision making. OK, when you make up your mind about something, stick to it. That's what this card represents for me. OK, uh, when it comes to others, the wands could represent the other people who are trying to persuade you to change your mind about something that um, you have already made your mind up or your intentions to do. So the seven of wands energy represents fire. So that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. Do not fold. Do not bend. Do not change, succumb to your own energies or external energies. Wow. And I'm getting ready to spread this and so thankful that this tower has already been landed here. So you will not be getting the tower this week, Capricorn. That's for sure. OK, so let's see. And I will not intentionally pick up that last card because I've already seen it. So you don't have to worry about that. I think Capricorn was the sign that got the tower and the three of swords. Uh, so you just had a double dose. I hope things weren't too bad for you this uh, past week. But I know when the tower shows up and it shows showing up, I do remember. I don't remember the signs. I do remember you, Capricorn, but I don't remember the other sign. Uh, I always get a feel that it's not something that will personally may not be something that personally deals with you. But I always get the you know, like our political stuff, you know, the, and, and it's a lot of shit that's going on. It's so crazy right now. And, ooh, it's never ending and it's not going to end. And I did mention in one of those videos that, um, I don't know whose video it was, but, you know, when it comes to this impeachment thing uh, for the United States presidency, it's going to get messy, but it's still, it's going to get a little bit messy, but it's still going to run uh, in an alignment and according to uh, how it needs to run. OK, so I'm just be prepared to see things, you know, especially with the public hearings uh, about the opening, uh, opening up. The tower also represents, uh, you know, sometimes it could represent uh, things being shook up and disturbed for good. And I say that because if you notice and this is just for the United States elections here, Capricorn. Give me a minute just to tell you what I feel. No one expected the um, race in Kentucky, the governor, 
It's a Democrat now who has been elected uh, in a red state. So, wow, that's the upheaval destruction of things that need to be uprooted and changed. And it could be for the better, you know, because the uh, from what I read, the uh, other gov- governor was giving the teachers a hard time. He was trying to restrict uh, Obamacare, Medicare and all this other stuff. It's more damaging to hurt people. And I think that, you know, that energy just came back and bit him in his ass. And he had the support of the president. And, you know, they twist and turn the, the energies around to, to favor them no matter what. <laughs> but I feel that his presence there hurt that uh, governor's uh, chance of reelection. That's just my personal opinion. Anyway, this is part of your energies, Capricorn. But, you know, specifically Virgo is the hermit. So there's uh, energy related to having to uh, do some introspection. It doesn't necessarily have to be deep introspection. Disconnecting your energies off. Uh, from others temporarily in terms of having to evaluate something, think about something um, that is important to you. And then once you disconnect for a temporary basis, then you come out with a clear, hopefully a proper perspective and the answers that you uh, will seek. This is called a meditation. So it could be just simply you uh, meditating this upcoming week. If we have some Capricorns who uh, meditate, that's um, the energy showing up here for you. And I find that, you know, when people meditate, I find it difficult for me to meditate. But when I do, um, you know, you receive, you know, messages and stuff. I know I do. Um, But because my mind is always, um, you know, not necessarily energized, but it's always active. There's always information that's coming in. And so I need to quiet myself uh, completely uh, just to, you know, quiet my mind down so that I can receive, you know, the messages that are being given to me. Okay. Instead of pushing them away or pushing them out. So this is a good card. It's a neutral card. Um, going within, disconnecting your energies. All right. Thinking about something. Nine of wands is not your battle weary or wounded. This is my busy B card. 10 of wands is also my busy B card. Nine of wands represent fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. So some Capricorns may find themselves very, very busy this upcoming week, either doing uh, stuff for themselves or, you know, uh, doing stuff for others. It could be multitasking energies, you know, that you have a lot of stuff on your plate to take care of. The nine of wands is energy. It will give you that energy to take care of all of those things that may come up for you this upcoming week. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. Again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female, you receive the eight of wands. So this is good news and good surprises. This is an open general reading. Some of you could be receiving some sort of, uh, you know, letters, parcel packages. If you don't, you know, if you've done some online shopping, your package is on the way. This is a card of communication, actually great communication, whatever you have to express and, you know, possibly, you know, Uh, get off your chest and exchange with another, that information is going to be understood and not misconstrued. Whatever information that you receive from other in terms of communication is going to be understood and not misconstrued by you. Eight of Wands is uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. Fast approach to communication. Uh, There's a surprise. Again, the Three of Cups is your shadow card energy, so it may be linked to that as well. Following the Eight of Wands, we have the Ace of Swords. So this is victory and success in some endeavor. Uh, This is also to clearing up any confusion or uncertainty surrounding any energies uh, in association with you that might crop up for you this upcoming week. All right. This is someone wanting to seek uh, new adventures or do something more risky. Um, you have the support of the eight of, uh, ace of uh, swords. I'm sorry. And the aces are always about something or starting something new. This is when it comes to the swords is about being more um, adventurous or risky, you know, risk taking. OK, but you are guaranteed some sort of victory and success. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female represents that ace of swords. Now you have the major or Canada strength card. So I wouldn't even worry about anything else. But so far, you have good energies that are showing up here, Capricorn. This is you feeling uh, all empowered, feeling your strength. Okay, nothing that crops up for you is going to get in your way. This is a card that represents Leo and, of course, the other fire energies, uh, Aries and Sagittarians. I'm feeling that because of the wands that are showing up here and plus the strength card, because you got the seven of wands, you got the nine of wands, eight of wands. Uh, there's relationships that are going on now, not just romantic. It could be 
all other types of relationships that there's uh, Capricorns who are dealing with fire fire energies okay it could be family could be a child could be a lover could be you know a friend but this strength card comes in here to say hey you know what don't even worry about the small stuff you got strength on your side this is a, a card that follows the ace of swords as i said that there's someone who wants to be a little bit more risky take a little bit more risk in some type of endeavors, uh, seeking new adventures or new excitement and trying to bring in new excitement in your life. And it's, you know, doing it without fear because this is a card of being fearless. Okay. The strength card, major arcana is showing up here for your energies. Following the major arcana, the strength card, now we have your energies, the four of pentacles. So this is, you know, could represent um, small pay raises for some bonuses it also could be that there are some capricorns who are focused on work this upcoming week you know paying attention to details uh in terms of what you're doing or what you have to do someone thinking about you know saving someone uh holding on to the little bit of money that they do have and possibly uh, if it is involving saving trying to build up um more income for you know possibly a rainy day or some other uh, type of purchase that you have set a goal for to achieve and reach all right your energy is capricorn and that of um taurus and virgo male or female so your last card in this reading here and it's a very good uh energy here now we have the queen of swords again it's in unison with the ace of swords determination clearing up any confusion uncertainty making major moves and decisions um it's a court card. So what we have the shadow card as the three of cups. So it involves in uh, relationships. This could also represent male energies, you know, so there could be some sort of dealings going on with, you know, elders, father, mother, grandfather, grandmother, and so forth. Okay. But this is a card of determination. All right. Determined to succeed in some type of endeavor, fill in the blanks. And that would be your, um, your, your suggestion. Not your suggestion, but your situation. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, Capricorn. All right. So that is your energy. And it turns out to be very, very good this time. So hopefully, uh, throw the comments and, and let me know how things are unfolding for you. Seven of Wands is your focus. Once again, is that if uh, because of the Queen of Swords showing up here, as well as the Ace of Swords underneath that Seven of Wands, that is you having to. If it is involving major decisions, making moves, taking actions, decisions and stuff like that, this again is just a reminder of you to whatever it is that you're going to make moves and decide about. Do not fold. Do not bend. Do not let others persuade you in changing your mind. OK, because I'm saying it will come back and haunt you. Uh, it won't be for your highest good. But anyway, let me pick an affirmation card to support your reading this upcoming week. Capricorn. And this is a. This deck is called Divine, but I bought it off of Etsy and I can't remember who, uh, but it will be in the description when I'm done, uh, who I purchased this set from. OK, and it's just a small deck of affirmations. And, and I use this on my daily uh, door, my daily affirmations. OK, so but what I have chosen for you is I am part of the universal flow. Uh, light and love is within me. So that's a very good message to support your reading. All right, Capricorn, please be safe. Always emphasizing that safety. Um, sending you out quite a bit of love and light your way until I talk to you again, Capricorn. Please be well. Love and light. Bye.